Welcome to Sharpen. It's Pastor Rick. Hey, I, I want to ask you a question. That is, let me tell you, the answer to this determines a lot. Do you spend time in the Word of God? Do you spend time meditating, thinking about, wrestling with the Scripture, the Word? Joshua is this incredible guy who's been with Moses for a long time. He's seen God, God do great things in his life. And so in Joshua chapter 1, there's this conversation that he has with God. And God says, Joshua, I want you to be strong. I want you to be able to stand against your enemies. I want to give you these boundaries, this land. I, I, you know, I know Moses is gone now, but I'm, I want to do great things in your life. But you, you've got to have one discipline, though. There's one discipline that all the things I want to do for you hinges on. And that's spending time meditating on what I say, thinking about my word, my instructions to you. I'm going to read this to you, Joshua chapter 1, because if you get this right, your life changes. Watch this, Joshua chapter 1, verse, verse, this is verse 7. Be careful and obey all the law, not part of it, my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, that, that you may be successful wherever you go. Keep the book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then, only then, will you be prosperous and successful. Two parts to that. The first part is very simple. Do what I say. And don't turn. I want you to, if you really want to see your life turn, Joshua, and, and all the things I've talked to you about having, it starts with you being obedient. Boy, that's such a simple word, small, O-B-E-Y, right? Obey, those, that simple word. Boy, that is so hard for people to get a hold of. Not partial. He said all of it. Obey all the law, all the things I told you to do. Well, nobody's perfect, Pastor Rick. I understand that. But I'm asking you, are you at least trying? Then he says, keep, this, keep what I say on your lips. Think about it day and night. Meditate on it. Let it become your guide. Your, 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 your guide map. Next time you get into a big argument, right? You fussing with your wife or your husband. Stop. Say, what, would the word, what does the word say right now? What, what, what should be my response? Is it cussing like this? Or is it, what, what is my response? How am I responding to God is the question. How am I responding to him? Am I ignoring him? Am I thinking about him? Does his word come to my mind when I'm angry or when I'm alone? Or when, I, when I'm feeling romantic, you know, I've got a romantic moment coming upon me. Do I even care what the Bible says? Am I at least interested in this moment of kissing and hugging? Do I even care that this is not who I should be kissing and hugging? Or, you know, what, what is it that I think about day and night? Is it pornography? Ugh. Is it really? Is that what you think about all day? Or is it the word? Or is it partying? You know, I want to jam. Some of you say, yeah. You saw those moves, right? I mean, is that, is, is that what you're thinking about all day long? Well, that's not how you get there. That's not how you get to the dream God has for you. That's how you get to a dead end in your life. The words of this law, you must meditate on day and night. Does that mean I go around saying, Jesus, Jesus, God, God, Bible, Bible? No, that's weird. That's not, that's not what he's saying. That's not, that's, not, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about being fully committed to a set of principles. We're talking about being totally committed to let, inviting God into your process, inviting God into your thought process and saying, listen, this is what we're going to do. When I'm frustrated, I, ask, I, I, I look for his way. I'm, I'm interested in how he would respond in this moment of temptation. Joshua, if you want to win, you got to include me in the process. You got to decide to be strong, decide to be courageous, decide to invite me in, decide. That's you. You alone decide that. Here's what I've learned after years and years of leadership. That's not the decision people make. God is a part-time God in their life. Only when they have a need or a problem do they call him. And it's amazing. You would pick up on that. If someone said they love you, but they didn't call you until they needed something, you would pick up on that. Believe me, God already sees it. That your commitment to him is really only conditional. Let me pray for you. This could be a great moment if you hear me. Father, let them hear you today and make this turn. Understanding that you need to be invited into their lips. Your word needs to be a part of their life. They need to think about what you would do and follow you in Jesus' name. 
My time is up. This is Pastor Rick. You stay straight, stay strong. Joshua was a good example. Walk like Joshua, you'll learn a lot and be better off. See you next time. Stay sharp. Bye-bye.